Hey everybody, this video comes in two parts. One, I'm back from my senior week, and honestly, I don't think it was worth the $300 that I had to pay for rent. Honestly, like, there was so much drama and bullshit that went on throughout the week. I honestly thought that we were out of high school, and it continued you know, we had graduated last week and thinking to myself, yes, we're done with all the high school drama and bullshit and stereotypical fights. No. No, we're not, apparently. But even with all the drama, I did manage to have a pretty okay time, uh, spend some good time with friends, uh, the beginning of the week, definitely, and toward the end, spent some good time with my boyfriend after we finished fighting, I almost got kicked out of my own fucking room, oh, it was horrible, but anyway, so after all that was done, I managed to get a small tan and then have it go away. It's left me with, with basically freckles. You can't see them right now, but they're all over here. All over here, yeah, all over the big nose. There are freckles here now. But now I'm just getting home and unpacking, and there's still bags and shit on the bed, and I need to find a job for the summer. Other than that, and I'm waiting for my graduation party, so hoping that we'll at least have fun with that. I don't know. But on to part two, where I get to bitch and rant a little bit. <clears throat> More, I suppose. <clears throat> I made a, a couple of videos about what I feel politically. And my last video that I put up about that was the fact that Obama had gotten the nomination and that I joked about moving to Canada. I guess I forgot to say that I didn't give a shit what anybody else thought about my opinion on Obama. <laughs> because there were plenty of messages and comments about things on that general scale. <clears throat> Assuming that I gave a shit what any of you decided to tell me. And I didn't. And I don't. Now I'm a very open-minded person. I am. I'm a very open-minded person and I'm one who would sit down and listen to your side and understand where you're coming from and take it in and then form my rebuttal and have my own opinion and be open to other ideas. I'm, I am. I really am. But there's not a single thing any one of you could say that would make me support that motherfucker ever. Ever. I have my reasons, and those people who support him, good for you. I'm glad that you would love to see our country fall apart. You go right ahead. And if you're going to quote on, you know, the Bush years, I didn't vote for his ass. I don't think he did a great job, and I think he was a disgrace to the Repu Republican Party, personally. <sighs> so, you can quit with the whole Bush shit, because that's not important to me, nor does it matter, nor is that part of my opinion or my opi my opinion on the presidential race now. In all honesty, McCain has the experience, but when you really, really look at it, does it really fucking matter who gets into office? Neither of them are inept enough to be able to do it. Neither candidate is really that great for office. Hillary can't. Hillary definitely couldn't do it. You know, Thompson definitely couldn't have done it. Um, any other bullshit candidates that came up for the Republican Party couldn't have done it. And McCain and Obama can't do it. This is a race for a puppet president. A puppet! Because the only thing that's going to matter, honestly, because the country is going to be so fucking divided by it, is going to be whoever the hell sits in Congress. It's not going to matter. And everyone who bitches about what Bush has done throughout the whole 
fucking time he's been shitting in the Oval Office? You can blame him. He, oh, he's an idiot. Oh, please blame him. Go right fucking head. But blame the Democratic fucking Congress that sat for the last four years. There was a Democratic fucking Congress that approved the last four years of shit. And it all needed a majority to start in the first place. <sighs> we had an idiot in office, but some of you people who voted for your congressman voted in dumbasses who followed him. So don't blame the president on everything. Some of your retard congressmen followed right along down the retard path to oblivion. And we are where we are now because of that. And now we're going to put in a puppet. So you go right ahead and put in a puppet. I don't give a shit, honestly. I just don't want Obama. And you can say I'm a racist. I'm not a racist. I'm sorry to burst your motherfucking black power bubble that you've all been throwing at me into your fucking messages that I have in my inbox. No, I'm not a racist. And I'm not a female airhead, as I've also gotten before. I don't understand where that came from, either. But... No, I just don't like the motherfucker. He's way too charismatic for his own good. He doesn't actually say anything. He won't stick to a hard issue. And he won't actually say what his opinion is. He just does that constantly with no substance. Whatever. <sighs> McCain may be boring to listen to, but at least he says something. I'm done before my head explodes. Part two over. Peace the fuck out, bitches.